<laughs> at least I know where these are now, which... Yeah, exactly. Be easier to open, hopefully. This is a second setup in the 15-passenger chase van that I assume most of the IIT students are going to be in that are doing the payload. The case is pretty much just a, I, I mean, standard case with foam in it that you custom cut for whatever you want, right? Yes. Now there should be. That's going to go on the floor. Okay. I'm hoping that's a cigarette opening or a, a lighter there, or is that just a hatch? Yeah, just a hatch. Okay. There's, there's. Now, but first we need to find. We need a Y splitter contraction. Oh, okay. Which I, okay. Probably gonna make people dizzy yeah. watching this video switching back and forth here. Um, this goes there into there. Okay. Okay. And there's a, there looks like there's a switch on the back of this. I assume it needs to be on or yes. should I wait? Okay. Looks like it port doesn't power yeah. up till the van starts. The started. thing about this is and it's like a panel. The cool thing about this is it's like everything only fits in one hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean you, you can't you know in, unless you're you know really like forcing this stuff with hydraulics you know it's like yeah. the wrong stuff can't go in the wrong place. <laughs> so you just want that on the floor? floor? Okay. Um, you just throw that like in a cup holder. Okay. Yeah. Put it back here. Yes. Same with that. Okay. Something similar to it, yeah. Sweet. The soot's pretty bad. Yeah, if you open it, grab it down at that end and open the, yeah, the other end. Yep, open the dark part. Nice. Yeah. This equipment has probably seen quite a few flights, hasn't it? Yeah. That radio is about 500 bucks. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. So, 500 bucks, the uh, ACDDC power converter is probably what? 20. 50? Oh, 20? Yeah, okay. 20. You know, I mentioned the one that was kind of flaky. Yeah. We did an experiment <laughs> where we were going to have two crews go out. We were going to have a launch crew and a recovery crew. And so they sent me out to Indiana with the tracker. Uh huh. And you know, they showed me how to set it up, and everything's working. Everything's you know, everything's great. And then you get out there, and the laptop's not working. Oh. Well, the battery died in the laptop, and the the um, power inverter was like, you know, going in and out. You know, it was just like intermittently failing. Yeah. So there I am in the middle of Indiana, and everything that's in these boxes. There's only one piece you can buy at a truck stop. That's the piece I needed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Somewhere around here is a... What are you looking for? I just screw that. Oh, okay. No, somewhere around here there's another. There's a spare. That's a nice tool, that Gerber. Yeah, works out pretty. It's called a Gerber Crucial. Good name. Yeah.
Nope, lost my arm. Ah, that's what I was looking for. That's what I used your gurgle for. <laughs> the other one had a little set screw that apparently was lost, so they replaced it with a bigger one. And oh. Just a regular hex bolt. I'm going to put that there for now. I don't okay. Does winding the USB and antenna cables, uh, does that just keep it out of the way or is there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's really necessary, but my thinking is that if you try to keep the rod as comfortable as possible without, you know, people like having wires in their faces that yeah. they can concentrate on what they're trying to do better. So will Ken be running this tracking rig in the van, or uh, he will have somebody riding shotgun while he's driving? I would imagine. Okay. just a mess. Fred's gonna kill me. Fred's one of our volunteers is on vacation, and he <laughs> um, comes in during the week after a launch, and he like, you know, there's a lot of this stuff. It's like harem scare him to get it packed away to, you know, get people out of here, get around the cars, return, things like that. Yeah. Fred goes back and inventories everything and makes sure that, you know, and we're, we were orderly and ready to go for the next one. Yeah. It's, um, it's helpful to have somebody on your team like that. And valuable. You couldn't, you know, we couldn't do it without it. You yeah. Know. Yeah, so you probably hear about it if you really leave things in a mess, I imagine. Yeah, he hasn't ever said anything to anybody that I know of, but, you know, I'm always cognizant that I know he's going through it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.